multi time frame analysis or for short MTF multi time frame analysis what is it what does it mean we're gonna dive right into it as you can see this is a daily chart we could be on a weekly or a monthly but let's just stick to the daily for now here's our ticker we're looking at spot or Spotify and we're gonna do some multi time frame analysis and what multi time frame analysis is exactly what it sounds like multiple time frames is what it is multiple time frames you are analyzing multiple time frames at once so let's go up to our indicators and why don't we add a moving average let's let's add a moving average to this chart and let's do a simple moving average so we're gonna click this to add it and now we've added this moving average so as you can see the candles or Spotify this blue line here is the moving average let's make it stand out a little more so we're gonna double click on the blue line moving average opens up the settings for us so the first thing we're going to do for the sake of this video is just make this line really easy to see and obvious so now you see it here this blue line now our inputs really important we're gonna make this a 20 day moving average this is daily so the length 20 it's gonna be a 20 day moving average so here you are we now have a chart of Spotify with a 20 day moving average but what we can do now is analyze multiple time frames at once so we have a daily chart and check this out we double click on the moving average and it says indicator time frame well now what we can do is we can change the time frame of the indicator so let's say we want to do one week this would mean now it's a 20 week moving average indicator time frame one week length 20 20 times 1 is 20 20 weeks so now we're looking at a 20 week moving average and we have a daily chart open of Spotify so that's two time frames at once what we mean is this is a 20 week MA that's what the blue line is a 20 week MA and the candles are daily candles so it's really that simple we now have two time frames happening here at once and how cool is that and as you can imagine we could do this over and over and over so we could be looking at weekly daily by the minute by the hour and why don't we show you some examples so we open up our moving average here it is we click let's add another one so now as you see here we have two open ma ma that means we have two moving averages on the chart and now we have this teal line so we're going to double click it and we're gonna change this let's do 50 and in this case we want to look at a time frame that's a little you know closer to the closer it's a smaller time frame let's go to an let's go to an hour and now what we're doing is now we're looking at a 50 hour movie moving average so what's the average of Spotify's price over the last 50 hours our indicator time frame is one hour our length is 50 so 50 hours what's the moving average over the last 50 hours of course if we did one minute we would be looking at a 50 minute moving average so what is the average price over the last 50 minutes but let's go back to one hour let's also make this line a little thicker so it stands out and that's perfect so what do we have here we have a 20 week moving average we have daily candles and we've even done something where now we've added another time frame which is an hourly time frame so 50 so why don't we write this on the chart as well so let's do this this is going to be a 50 hour ma so we have our daily candles the average price over the last 20 weeks and the average price over the last 50 hours we know that sounds confusing because there's weeks days hours but but just bear with us we'll keep doing examples until you really really get it so let's hop over to a, another chart and for this chart what we can do is we can just go to the index QQQ NASDAQ 100 index and as you can see our, our indicators follow us wherever we go so we could be doing this multiple time frame analysis across any chart we just type it into the search box and it's going to follow us around just like that but let's go back to qqq let's remove these and let's mix it up one more time okay let's look at a weekly chart 
So let's look at the long term. So each candle represents a week of trading. So that's right. This candle that you see right here, the most recent candle, represents a week of trading. So one week of trading, one week of trading is shown in this single candle. That's right. One week of trading is shown in this single candle. Let's make some spaces so that we make sure we can do text wrap so that it fits on our screen. Okay. And let's add this here. There we go. One week of trading is shown in this single candle. So that's pretty cool. It's a long-term time frame, 2019. And you know, if we went to daily, now you can see it's more compressed, but let's go back to the week. So here's 2019, 2020. Here we are in 2021. Now we want to look at this long-term chart, but what we want to do is we actually want to add on some daily Bollinger bands. And so Bollinger bands are going to are an indicator for measuring standard deviation from an average price. So we can go to our Bollinger band settings and we see indicator time frame is same as chart. So what does that mean? Well, that means these Bollinger bands, this cut, you know, this color cloud here, teal and the outer bands and this red line, these are being calculated same as chart. Well, what is our chart set to? It's set to weekly. So this is weekly Bollinger Bands. But if we click this drop down now, we can customize that time frame. And we can look at two time frames at once. So let's just do a daily Bollinger Bands. And let's do a length of, let's do a long term length to fit the weekly chart we're looking at. So let's do 200 days. Standard deviations. In this case, let's go to one because, you know, let's tighten it up a little. So now what we have is we have a weekly chart. Each candle represents a week with a Bollinger band added to it that is calculated on daily prices. Two time frames at once. So we'll just write that two time frames at once. And that's what we're looking at. So these are daily Bollinger bands. These are weekly candles. And how cool is that? So we can actually see if you zoom in price on the weekly chart has actually found you know support with it. every time it's entered the one standard deviation move of the daily bollinger bands pretty fascinating stuff and check this out we can do this with multiple indicators so let's add we'll add volume by accident we added two we'll add volume and we're going to add moving average so let's add a moving average now let's go to settings and now let's go to monthly let's do a monthly moving average and let's just do 12 months so for the full year let's make sure that this really stands out and we have a blue line perfect so now we have three time frames that we're looking at on one chart we have we have this one week candle each candle is one week we have these daily bollinger bands they're calculated using daily prices. And now we have this monthly moving average. That is three different time frames. So rather than two, we've now bumped it to three. So this is possible for any chart. And just to recap, this is the secret to it. Understand that if you go to your indicator settings, see that? This wheel, that's settings. Remember, you can also double click as well. If you go to your indicator settings, you have the freedom and the possibilities to essentially do any calculation you want across any time frame. And you can look at multiple time frames at once. So your chart up here, your chart time frame and resolution is set up here. And then you can change your indicators to something entirely separate by using the settings menu. So how cool is that? Now, remember, one more tip. Indicator time frame means how do you want your indicator to be calculated? Do you want it to be the same as chart, which means calculate it with the same resolution and time frame as your chart, which would be weekly? Or do you want to do a custom time frame? And do you want to do a different time frame to look at two different time frames at the same time on one chart? Let's put it back to daily. Because now these Bollinger Bands, BB, is set to one day. And we're looking at a weekly chart. That's two time frames at once, our weekly. 
our, our weekly candles, and our daily Bollinger Bands. And let's just go through one more quick example that we also do not want you to forget about because it is really important. So multiple time frame analysis is fairly complicated. And what we have explained here may sound somewhat daunting. But just remember the key here is this. You're looking at multiple time frames at once. And what we can do in this last example actually is show you where this can be particularly helpful. And it's the last example we'll do. And just remember, head into the comments and ask any questions. Share any feedback you want. So we're looking now at a one minute chart. See this here? One minute chart of your USD. Okay, that's pretty cool. We see time we see price in real time, minute by minute. You can watch this chart though now with a daily moving average, or you know, this could be any indicator. We're using moving averages because it's widely known. But now you can watch this chart, this one minute chart, say, with let's do a let's keep it at nine. Let's do a nine day moving average. And let's zoom this out just a little, maybe to 30 minutes. So now what we're doing is we're looking at a 30 minute chart with this trailing nine day moving average. So we're super zoomed into the chart. We are right there zoomed in and we can have this moving average on it right there with us. So it's a pretty effective way, especially if you are often zoomed in to the chart on a lower resolution. And so let's go to 65 minutes and you can see here. And of course it's lagging a little because the the chart the moving average needs time to calculate. It's a daily calculation, but obviously the day's not over. So you can zoom into these charts now and this is a daily moving average on a 65 minute chart. And of course we go to an hour, we could stay in this, you know, in this session time frame and really see what's what's happening up close and personal which is pretty cool especially if you trade on these low time frames you can watch a chart say this is now a four hour chart so you're super zoomed in with this daily moving average across it and so that way if you go back to your daily chart now you have this beautiful looking daily chart with the daily moving average well let's zoom back in and now we're zoomed in on the four hour but here's our daily moving average so we hope that you enjoyed this video. We know that it is somewhat complicated. We're going to be doing a lot more like this so that you really understand it. And more importantly, just remember, to, the key to getting started is this right here, indicator time frame. Once you figure this out, you are good to go. So start having some fun, dive right in, take some chances, and just get right to it. Thank you for watching. And remember, leave your comments and questions below.